Hey YouTube, Sweet Knives here. Check this out. We got some awesome Microtech Exosets. And the purpose today was to show you there is one fake knife out of this bunch. Can you guess which one it is? Just by, just by looking at it, can you guess? Well, that's the question of the day. Which one is the fake? And so that's the whole point of the video. And basically, the reason that I'm making this video is because there are so many fake knives out there. Just tons of them. Pretty cool, huh? Not sure if that one's fake. How about this one? Pretty awesome, huh? How about this one? Hard to tell, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm gonna bust it down. I'm gonna just tell you, cause you know what? That's just <laughs> what I'm gonna do. I'm having too much fun here. Okay, secret. Actually, two of these are fake. These two right here, and I'm sure you probably figured it out. So I'm going to just go through each and every one and show you, you know, why it's fake. So this one, just right off the bat, you wouldn't know this unless you had a real one, but it's really heavy, really heavy one. And uh, these all came from uh, China. I actually got them off of uh, wish.com. If you've ever heard of wish, um, that's where I got them. So this one, you can see the wording is all off. Let's compare it to the real one. That's how... That's how the real one looks. I know it's hard to see. That's bronze, by the way. The top one has bronze. So there's a few details, and it's all in the details. Um, like, for instance, look at these pieces, the machining quality on these two pieces. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. It's really hard. Jesus, hang on. It's really hard to tell. But you can see that piece sucks in machining quality compared to that piece. Also, the blades. It's hard to see on camera, but the finish on them is it's not even close. Another thing, look at these screws. Those are just torque screws, but here we got the triangle screws. Clip. This is, this is actually the dead giveaway. Um, you can't tell from this angle, but again, you got the triangles on the inside, but you can from this one. See, they don't machine that down on this part, so it sticks up. Doesn't that look like crap compared to the real one? Much bigger lanyard hole on the real one. That's a look at the... The clip. I, I, another thing too. Look at the the detail in the logos. It's not even close. Let's shut these. So I'm gonna zoom back out here. So this was pretty easy to tell that this one is fake it's it's a lot heavier too so not bad though i mean just for you know for 15 20 30 bucks that's not bad compared to like 200 or 300 for this one <laughs> but the whole deal is they're knockoffs they're cheap they're crap you don't want to you don't want to have a cheap crappy one i mean really you can't count on it if your life depended on you it's still kind of cool, but it's totally fake. Now, this is where it gets crazy. This here, as you can see, is supposed to be the distressed, um, the distressed one, the Star Wars distressed one. Now, guys, I got to tell you, for a fake knife, and I can't remember what I paid. I can't remember if it was 30 bucks or, but it was something like that. The quality on this one is very, very, very good for a fake knife. 
and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to show you the same things, but for the first time in a long time, I've been really, really impressed with the quality of this one. So let's zoom in again and just compare apples to apples. So one thing right off the bat, you can see, you can actually see the uh, hole and that's just some oil there, but you can see the hole for the, uh, the blade, but this piece is machined better. Notice how uh, the thickness, I think this one's slightly thicker, but the finish on it is outstanding. The way they did that finish, this anodizing, it's outstanding. In some ways, I almost like it better than the original. That's hard to believe. These guys used the triangle screws. Bigger, they're actually bigger ones. Um, one of the dead giveaways, again, is this piece. They don't recess the, the metal there, so it looks really cheesy. But look at the machining here. Look at how, how tight that is. I mean, they did a great job on, on this. It's even, in some, some respects, better than the original, which is hard to believe. Uh, let me zoom back in. Sorry for the zooms and zooms out. How does it feel? Pretty good. And this one, the blade, is actually done very well. There's not a lot of markings on this blade, as you can see but it's really close to the original, really close. One thing, it doesn't have the vertical lines, but it's very, very close. And it feels actually really good. I don't mind this one so much as a fake. I just need to distress it a little bit more. And, uh, and I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference, to be honest. It's that close, other than a few markings on the blade but it works really good. So now let's get into a few more other aspects. You're probably wondering, well, you didn't really tell us a ton of stuff. Well, I'm not done. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's zoom out. I'll zoom back out to one. And I want to show you the packaging that these came in. Okay. So let's start out with the original and what the original uh, packaging looks like. That's this one. The original packaging looks like this. And comes in this nice fancy Microtech box, which a lot of their new knives come in. And it has the correct information here, okay? It's a perfectly, this is what the boxes look like. This is a big deal because um, if you don't, you know, you're not going to have the original stuff. And again, it comes with this paperwork, comes with this type of foam, and it comes, I forgot, it comes with this package. So this is, every Microtech knife comes with one of these baggies with this orange sticker sign like that. And so that's what the original, that's what the original looks like, guys. Putting it back. Okay, now... Let's look at what the fake stuff comes in. <laughs> this is the box I got for the fake one. <laughs> uh, yeah, not quite, uh, not quite the same thing. We don't even have to go much further. Oh, and they do also give you a little case. <laughs> so you get yourself a little case. There you go. Pretty easy to figure out from the packaging what's going on here. Now let's look at the third one. Ah, the third one's a little better. <laughs> they tried, they tried, but they, uh, they used the wrong size box, <laughs> but they tried. I give them credit for uh, trying 100% American made. Yeah, bullshit. That's 100% China made. <laughs> I know that came from China. And they do actually give you, they do actually give you some paperwork in the fake one. And oh, another thing that they do, they give you the tools. I couldn't believe this. I, I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. You actually get the tools in the fake one. 
just buying these tools alone is uh, can be expensive. And they give you a slightly different sheath. So for this one, you get this sheath. Okay. So guys, that's the essence of the Microtech Exosets. Be on the lookout. If you're buying one of these, buy it from a respected dealer. Check out my link in the description. I got links to the most respected dealers that you can buy these from, and um, you won't, you know, you won't be disappointed buying from these dealers that I have listed. So you want to make sure that you're buying from a respected place to make sure you're getting something authentic. Do not buy these. If you think you can get this for a good price online, you're not going to be able to get it for a good price. These are expensive knives. They're two $300 knives. And that's because they're made out of outstanding steel, outstanding craftsmanship. They're guaranteed forever. These cheap ones are garbage. They're not going to last long. They're not going to hold up well. You really, truly don't want these. Although this one looks kind of cool, you don't want those. So... That's all I got today, guys. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Have a great day. Bye-bye.